Hey everyone, so I have had a lot of requests to redo this video. This is one of the first ones I did way back when I first started this channel. So we're gonna do this, update this, and get into all of the different types of mirror coatings and base colors for sunglasses, a little bit of what they're good for, and a little bit of how it all works. So let's have some fun and dive into one of my favorite topics and all of the different colors in the sunglass and tinted world. teaser of the bunch of lenses we'll be going through today but first if you would do me a favor and subscribe and follow along ring the bell for notifications to stay up to date on the latest videos we're doing here keeps the channel here keeps me here keeps it all fun for me to still be here so <laughs> yeah let's keep me here do that for me now what you are actually here for is this big pile of colorful lenses, right? You want to know what these do, why we do it, is it just fashion, is it useful, or just to look cool? And well, it's all of that actually. So the mirrors are of course to look cool. You pair different ones with different frames, you get a little bit cooler look. But most importantly, the different base lens colors are going to have the biggest effect. So you want to pair a base lens color with a mirror that is going to fine tune light in the way you want it to work for you. Now, of course, if you're mainly concerned with fashion, it doesn't really matter. Throw a gray base, then do whatever mirror and have fun with it. And, you know, if it's all for fashion, maybe it doesn't even matter so much what the base color is as the end result you're looking for. Except the base color is going to tune the mirror color a little bit. I wish I had some samples to show you how that works. Unfortunately, I only have the ready-made up ones like these guys with the Citroen, which is going to be a nice orangey gold look. Hi! And that's going to be over a brown base? Yeah, I believe it was. Now. One thing you'll notice on that one, real quick, we'll get back into this later, but right off the bat, you'll see that color shifts as you move across the lens. And as you'll notice on the front of the lens, that color shifts as you move across the lens. There's a reason for why that happens and why the light changes as you move across it. Like I said, we'll get more into that later. For right now, let's talk base colors. This guy here is your standard gray base. Very color neutral, very easy to wear, works in a lot of different situations. Nice and just darkens things up. And you can see, it doesn't really change the view much. And forgive me, these samples are not AR coded. They're just kind of what they are, but they get the job done. So you can see, just soft, color neutral, nothing too crazy darkens things down a bit, easy to wear in a lot of different situations. Then you've got the browns, and they're kind of their own thing because there's so many different versions of brown. This guy here is the one that's going to be a pretty traditional, this is your standard run-of-the-mill, this is what you're going to find in a brown. They enhance contrast a little bit, darken things down pretty well, not quite as dark as the grays, but definitely get the job done. Now this one is tuned to be a little bit darker than most browns, so keep that in mind for me. Then as we get back over here, this guy, a little bit softer, a little bit more neutral. This one is tuned for the road, if I remember right. Yep. Yeah. So this one's got a little bit more yellow in it, not significantly, but you'll see it does enhance the contrast more. Certainly shifts colors a little bit more because you're blocking out more of that blue spectrum light, which, eh, yeah, more of the blue spectrum light is gone, which is always nice. And then you've got the true. So these are the contrast enhancing browns. This one almost amber, but I wouldn't quite call it amber. It definitely, the camera makes it look more amber than it is in person but this is gonna be your high contrast brown mix. And you can see really boosts the contrast up. Doesn't do as much for darkening the lens, but it adds a nice, deep, rich contrast to everything. This is gonna be the one that makes the greens really pop. And you'll see, yeah, you can see it brings those greens to life almost instantly, even just right here. So that's the one golfers they either love it or hate it because it makes the green very intense now 
if you're in a highly forested area, that can work against you. And that's why I say golfers love it or hate it. It kind of depends on the field. If you've got a lot of forestation around you and a lot of greens everywhere, it can be a little intense and overwhelming at times. So it's something to keep in mind for that part of it. Now, then we've got the real oddball, and these are actually pretty unusual to find, is the blue lens. This one, I'm not entirely sold on it personally. It's a thing, it's cool, they definitely look great. So from a cosmetic standpoint, the blue lenses are nice. I love these in a darker frame, really adds a touch of pop to it. As far as function, you know, I've mentioned before, I think even in the original video for this, I mentioned I am not a big water sports guy. So that's where I'm told these lenses do magic. I will take everyone else's word for it. And you can see, just like the gray, really nice and dark. The blue is gonna work a little bit better, and I would imagine it would work better over water where you're surrounded by a lot of blue. But it's not gonna block the blue spectrum light as well. In fact, this one, yeah, only 87% of blue light with that particular formulation here. So, well, maybe, there we go. And I'm getting that number from right on the bottom where my thumb's at. So there you go, that. So, you know, I'm, I'm really torn on the function of that one. Then the other classic we all know and love, it's been around for ages, kind of an American thing, if anything, and that is the green lenses. Now, this one is the green polarized by AO, so it's not gonna be as green as, like, say, a vintage green, but it's still nice and green. And you can see what I really love about the greens is you get a nice pop of color without any real spectrum shift. It's still good and dark, still makes reds pop, still makes greens show up, it just adds a little nice touch of color. Doesn't really do anything for contrast, so it's a very neutral in that regard, but another one that, you know, cosmetically, these lenses just look cool. Now, the polarized one, not so much. It almost looks like a gray if you don't know that you're looking at a green. So there's that part. It's kind of a letdown for me. I wish I had one of the green non-polarized to show you, but oddly, I, I don't have any of those laying around right now. They go away quickly. Whether that's good or bad is up to you. But on to what really matters here, and that's going to be what this video is more focused on, the different mirror colors that can be applied over the tops of all of these. Some of these are more fashion-based, and I'm gonna give that up to the rose gold and the 14 karat gold a little bit more silvery gold than normal. This one's kind of fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing, even though it's fun. <sighs> On to the task at hand. The different mirror colors and what they do for light. So effectively, the way this works, the mirror is applied over the base lens, and we just talked about all the different base colors that were available, and I put away all the other ones because I don't have space for the other eight lenses. And then, once they're applied over those base coatings, you, or base colors, you get a bit of a spectrum shift. So with this one, you can see that red and purple mirror is going to reflect away more of the red and purple light, right? That's exactly the way a mirror works. It's just like a big silver mirror over there across the room. It reflects all light back at us so we see everything reflected in the mirror. These are gonna be more spectrum specific and are gonna reflect back, in this case, the orange to the purple, which is gonna be this orange, a little bit of red in the middle, and then that deep, rich purple right in the center. This is the one that screams to my heart because I love to play with fire and it's called pyro, and when you get just off angle, there it is. It's just like a little lively fire dancing. Okay, done with that. Now, that is over a gray base, and you'll see it's a little bit different than we had with the original gray lens. You see the reds aren't very crisp at all. They're dulled down a little bit. Oranges are more neutral. It's just a little bit different experience. So it's not gonna be a dramatic change. Usually these guys reflect, depending on the exact formulation, you're gonna be anywhere between 15 up to 40% of the wavelength of the mirror coating. So then you get over to the Citroen, which is not a huge shift from the Pyro. It's gonna work a lot in the same way. 
but this one's done over a brown base, so it's nice for showing that difference. And what happens, this really just enhances the natural properties of a brown lens anyway, because it's gonna block some of that yellow and red spectrum light, so we get a nicer boost to contrast without that overwhelming intensity. So it doesn't give that strong color shift because what happens with the red and yellow, it's reflecting that away, right? So it's gonna shift the lens a little bit cooler. So the brown lens becomes a little bit more blue and that's the result. Just for comparison, nope, that's the contrast brown, there we go. So you've got the normal brown and the brown over gold. Gold over brown, I guess you could say. And as I mentioned, these two guys, the 14 karat and the ever lovely rose gold, they're a little bit more of a fashion film. So they're not gonna shift the colors much. Again, being a little bit closer to silver, you're not gonna pick up too much of a shift. The thing with silvers, and I actually don't have a silver here handy except for the black, which is just a very low density silver mirror, is they're mostly gonna reflect uniformly just like the big silver mirror over there, right? They're gonna reflect more of the light back, but it's gonna be evenly across the spectrum. So you can see all the rest of the shop and all of the rest of its colors instead of one part of the spectrum. And then you can see that's just the brown, gray, <laughs> gray with a black mirror. Very color neutral, very soft, very, very easy. So there you go. And then this is the one the guys always wanna know about. This is the Fisherman's combination, right? It's that green mirror with a little bit of blue over the brown lens. So that's gonna enhance contrast a lot. It's gonna cut down on reflections on the water because they tend to be in that family color, color family, but it still gives you that deep, rich contrast enhance, right? And especially if you do that over a polarized lens, which wouldn't be as orangey brown as what this is, you're gonna be able to see right through that water, right down into what you wanna see the Jade Mirror is just a little bit different version of that. It's got a little bit more silver to it, so it doesn't shift that green spectrum quite as much. But you can see it really makes those reds pop nicely, and I think that's what a lot of the salmon fishers, maybe? You guys can correct me down below if I'm wrong, and I probably am. But I'm told that little flash of red does absolute wonders for that. Now, I don't know. I, again, I'll have to take your word for it. Let me know if I'm wrong. This is one I'm fond of. It's another one that's a little bit more fashion-based, but it's the Midnight Blue over a gray. The reason for that, the blue mirrors are gonna block some of that blue spectrum light, which is gonna make the gray be a little bit warmer, and that makes for a little bit of a boost of contrast. For me, that's the lens I go to the most. You can see the red still pop a little bit. You get a nice darkness to it. Overall contrast is okay. Still a little bit muddy, but nothing too crazy. I think that does a really good job. Same thing with the blue flash here. Not as intense in this case, because this is gonna be one, they're a little bit more in the 12% range over a gray base again. So you can see, still very much like the midnight blue. Still get a little bit of pop of reds, a little bit of contrast and nothing really too, too crazy going on with that one. The violets are a little bit more fun, so they block more of the purple spectrum of light, right? As we've been talking about. So that's gonna shift the color again a little bit warmer. These tend to be a little bit more comfortable to wear because as we know, the purple and violet spectrum light is the light that we don't like just because it is. So, cosmetically, super cool lens, super pretty, but there you go. We've got a gray base with the purple mirror, and there's that nice, strong warm shift. As I mentioned, that's gonna block a lot of the purple light, a lot of the blue light. You can't quite tell it on this lens. Maybe, yeah, actually the camera picks it up better than my eyes. You can see more of the blue reflection on that versus in person, this is definitely a rich, rich purple instead of blue. So the camera tricks are coming into play on me. Then the lilac, yeah, it's gonna be very similar to these guys. That's a little bit more 
of a fashion base color so that's still going to shift very silver and overall be very neutral you can see just over that gray base we've got a very soft very easy you know still looks like a gray lens easy to wear every day but adds a little bit of spice to it and eh, we like a little bit of spice don't we this guy kind of the same thing they call it sapphire it is just a very soft blue you know i've worn some of these before as far as blues go i'm not a huge fan this one is over a brown base and yeah that's as i mentioned i <laughs> i'm not a huge fan it really muddies things out you don't get a nice pretty color shift it's just what it is i don't know how would you describe that i don't know how i would describe that obviously i'm at a loss for words so that gives a pretty good idea of this but the big concept i want you to take away from this video is more of just what happens when you add these different mirrors they're going to block that spectrum of light passing through the lens which is going to shift the color the other direction so let me show you a really cool example really quick of how that works i forgot i had this guy until towards the end of the video so this is a red mirror over just a clear lens or actually a transition lens so they darken outdoors but you'll see even clear it has the ever so slightest blue color shift maybe not the best example i don't think the camera is really even picking that up well but because it's blocking more of that red orange light it does shift it just a little bit cooler i used to have that mirror with a lot more intensity to it and it really showed strong and my 14 karat gold you can tell it a little bit more this one's blocking the yellow and brown spectrum and you still get there you go this one really shows up well on camera you get that nice color shift towards the blue spectrum it's interesting to wear, but it is pretty comfortable for the most part. So you can see it shifts it a little bit more cool. I find that interesting since it blocks yellow light. Haven't quite got that one straight in my head yet, but that's what it does. Now I am sure you have seen this little guy sitting off to the side that we haven't really talked about. And that is a yellow lens. This one in particular, Varnay's Night Lynx, kind of a signature from them. What's really cool with this one, I don't know if you can really tell it. Yeah, there we go. It's just ever so slightly dusted with a silver mirror at the bottom and at the top. So it's a little bit different. It does get darker as you get away from the center of the lens because of that. And you can see that on camera a little bit, but the yellows really, really amp up contrast. Reds are much more intense. And overall, it just really works to brighten up everything in the environment now i know a lot of people recommend this for nighttime driving i am not a fan of that because as i mentioned it brightens up everything so let's say you're just driving along and then boom bright lights see the bright lights are brighter too they're still bright without it but they're intense and hard to tolerate with it so I mentioned my favorite in the video. You didn't think you were gonna get away without seeing this, right? This is the high contrast brown with that strong blue mirror over the front. This guy is, <laughs> it's my favorite. I wear this thing almost all the time. And I know I shouldn't because there's other lenses that work better for other situations. But first of all, it just looks darn cool to begin with. Uh, at least I think it does apparently a few other people because we've had to replicate this for others in the same one i actually just did one i posted that on instagram you'll have to check that out but we did this exact lens without a prescription duplicated it still got the same bevel and then did a custom amber pair form as well love how that came out anyway what you actually want to see is how that works and from my perspective again adds a nice bit of contrast without being super overwhelming just easy to wear darkens things up a little bit still boosts the contrast and reds where we are there we go really kind of pop out a little bit more nicely there's the one that's the red we've been using for a marker now i think we are 
<laughs> coming close to the 20 minute mark. So I will stop melting your brain with the different colors and different spectrums of light. I think we've far exceeded the original depth of the first video. So that will do a pretty good job for now. If there's anything else you would like to know about the specific topic or any other topic related to lenses and light or glasses or a specific frame you'd like to see reviewed, definitely let me know down below if this video helped you out. Definitely leave some feedback below because I always love hearing about that. Or if you hated hearing me blabber on for 20 minutes, let me know that too and I'll keep the long format videos a little bit shorter. I try not to do these too often. Now, that's all I've got for today. I will see you guys next time.